Why, good evening, folks. It's Richard here. I'm not going to fish on the big water today. I love to fish on the big water. In fact, it's been years and years since I've fished in the pond. Uh, we're getting a lot of problems off of Hurricane Laura. There's a lot of big rain bands, thunderstorms, high winds. No way I'm going to get on the big water. So we're going to fish in a pond today. It's a pretty good sized pond, one of which I hadn't fished in years. There used to be some good fish in here. It's probably been 15 or 20 years since I've fished in this pond. But uh, let's give it a crack. Hey, there's a bass right over there in that corner. I seen one hit. Sure did. What I don't like more than anything is that barometric pressure going up and down, up and down. It won't stay stable, cow this. But it affects fish. Barometric pressure is a big deal when it comes to fish. Right here is where I seen that bass hit. Right here. So, and I seen him from way over yonder, so he's probably a pretty good fish. And I seen a frog right there too. So I brought me a frog. Because most of these ponds are eat up with toad frog. I mean, um, bullfrogs, excuse me, folks. So that's lean. I shouldn't have brought so much tackle with me, but never know what you got to do to catch a fish I'm going to start with a trick worm right here this is a black trick worm I have it rigged up on 8 pound test braid and about a 6 foot fluorocarbon later it's 8 pound test with a 2 alt hook and a solid centered black trick worm I have it weightless let's get down here real low now that fish I seen him bust about right there this adjust this drag right here a little bit tight A trick worm may do may be the deal because there's not many that fishes with a trick worm weightless. Uh, there's a few people it does, but I tell you what, it is a great, great bait. I catch a lot of fish with a trick worm. Pressure waters like Gunnersville. It is so it's getting to be where uh, Gunnersville Lake is very, very pressured a trick worm rig weightless to catch a few fish I guarantee you. I'm just letting it sit there I fish a trick worm real slow anyway if it sits right there if it sits there in front of a bass's face long enough he sees it he'll grab it it's just one of my go-to baits if I'm having a hard time catching fish Especially a black one when it's overcast like this. There's a fish. First fish of the day. That didn't take long. Come on here, boy. So it's going to be a trick worm, I believe. Count the barometric pressure. Cloudy day. You'd think a top water would get the job done. But there he is. Little pond fish. And I had my rod tip, if y'all noticed, pointed straight at him. That fish hit it so hard. I was lucky to catch that little bass. A little large jaw. All right, then. That may be the deal, just taking my time with this trick worm. I tell you. <laughs> I, I've never failed to catch fish with a black trick worm, folks. And uh, I used to use a methylid, especially later on in the fall. The methylid is a real bright color. Bait. 
ugly, gaudy looking, but even in clear water, it's effective fishing it weightless. Normally, I like to hold my rod tips up at around 10, 11 o'clock, but it's so windy, I'm having to keep it down just like that. And I'm just moving it a few inches or trying to, trying to keep that wind from grabbing it. Now, normally, you know, around ponds, the edges is the best places to focus on. But this pond's a little bit different. It's real shallow, through and through. So these fish could be anywhere, absolutely anywhere, especially with all this aquatic vegetation in here. <sighs> little fishy in the brook coming by at my little hook. There's one right there. Got him too. Got him on the trick worm. He did bite my little hook. Yeah, him did. Quit. I still, that's a lot of fun. Let's let him go right here. <laughs> go on, boy. Whoa! I'm talking about whoa! What I'm gonna do right now is go to the lower end of the pond. The wind's blowing this way across the pond. It may be the fish is on the lower end down there where all the wind's blowing. Let's go see. Let's get out of here, right? There's no fish in this. Hold it! There's big old snakes, turtles, stuff like that over here. What I'm going to do right here, being it's getting so dark and overcast, and these fish seem like they're getting more active, folks is get a little more aggressive with it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw a whopper plopper. That's what I'm gonna do. It's cooling off. It was real humid a while ago. Now it's, humidity's gone. And the fish seem to be a lot more active. So let's, uh, yeah, let's get us a whopper plopper out. I've got a black one in here. And I got a feeling they're gonna chew it. But for me to catch them, I'm gonna have to wade off in there. And what it, the water's coming over my boots, but I've done got water in my boots, so what does it matter? But let's tie this whopper plopper on. This is a, a 90, 90 F. The number's about wore off because I've caught so many fish with it. But I think, yeah, I need to fish a little more aggressive right here. Let's try that. There we go. I knew it. Come on in here, boy. He ain't very big, but he reacted to that whopper plopper. Now we're going to catch them. The question is, are there any big fish left in this pond? Has it done run its big fish cycle? Or what? I know there's a lot of these in here. Let's let him go. All right. They're reacting. That's the main thing. I don't have long to fish. Doggone it. Weeds is thick out there. This thunderstorm's right on top of us. Doggone it. But the thing about it is, you can feel it. The thing about it is, you can feel it in the air that the fish are biting right now. I wished I had me some hip waders, is what I wished. 
if I go too much farther than right, well, let's see how far we can go. Right here, I start getting water over my boots. Let's make a cast right there. There he is. That's a little better fish right there. He nailed it, didn't he? Come on back here. Long, skinny fish. Mm-hmm. A little bit better. Of course, they all, when they hit a whopper plopper, it's like a, <laughs> they sound like they're five pounds. I was looking off a little bit right then when that fish hit. Nice one. Let's let him go. Let's see if we can get a right here. I tell you, a whopper plopper is an amazing bait. I throw everything in the world at these fish. A trick worm worked a little bit, but it was. Uh... Oh, let's get them weeds off of there. This bait right here omits a, a certain sound. And it really uh, is about as loud as a quarter ounce buzz bait. A little black quarter ounce buzz bait, dark as it is, would do about the same thing, I imagine. Looks like I'm gonna just hammer that. There's one. Mm. He's in that vegetation, folks. See how that big? Out there in the middle of the pond. Here he comes. I got him under the chin or something. I don't really know. There he is. He hit at it short. Hit at it once. Then he come back and hit at it again. So that's what that whopper plopper do. Did it be a good fish? <laughs> yep. Yeah. They ain't big, but they're a fish before the storm. Just let him go. Come on back. That's poop. Golly, did y'all see that? Man, that fish hitting hoof prints out there where the cows has been walking. I mean, just inches of water. Come on in here. Well, that's a pretty up, pretty colored bass. These ain't giants. But they used to be some giants in here. Doggone it. It's overpopulated. Some of these fish needs to be, or a lot of them needs to be taken out. And then you'd have a better quality fish right there. They still could be another big one. I mean, we might catch a big one in here, but uh, it's looking like they're stunted to about that size right there. They <laughs> God. They Oh man Now that one's a little bit better folks A little bit better than I've been catching Come here boy Come on in here There we go. He's a little bit better. Watch him. He's looking at me. I'm going to touch his tail. Now watch what happens when I touch his tail. Well, let me hit him that way. There he goes. Folks, I'm going to let it go. The hurricane's coming. 
probably in about 10 minutes, we're going to have a band of thunderstorms. They're on top of us. Uh, we caught a few fish, had a lot of fun. The Lord has blessed us once again to live another day. I want to thank y'all very much for watching. All the great comments. Woo! Woo! Wait! <laughs>